So this is the first in a series of short discussions on why our region ticks all the boxes as a place to visit, to be amazed by, to holiday or to just relax and enjoy the unique vistas. This is probably the most important of all our videos. The talk is about the Glasshouse Mountains geology. It all started some 31 million years ago with a massive volcano erupting southwest of Maloney and continued intermittently for another 4 million years which resulted in several layers of basalt eventually forming the Maloney and Butterham plateaus. About 25 million years ago in the tertiary period, give or take a couple of thousand years, <laughs> Our mountains went through their gestation time span to finally display the Glasshouse Mountains' full aesthetic attraction. What relationship the Maloney eruptions had to the forming of the Glasshouse magma intrusions is purely speculative. It is feasible, however, that these continuing upheavals resulted in the opening of fissures below the surrounding landscape. Whatever the cause, these fissures existed and filled with magma molten rock which had separated by chemical reaction into rhyolite and trachyte, gradually curling to form the sills, dikes and lagoliths which became the embryo of the Glasshouse Mountains. During the next 25 million years, the surrounding lands for sandstone gradually eroded to expose the iconic Glasshouse peaks we enjoy today. Geologists believe that the land surface at the time of the intrusions was some three to four hundred metres above the present level, with only Mount Biwa forcing itself above the surface, but with insufficient force or fluidity to erupt or result in significant lava. The question is often asked, are the mountains the remnants of old volcanoes? The short answer is no, as they are magma intrusions that were formed and matured underground. Volcanoes are formed above ground, and tend to disintegrate after they become extinct over a relatively short period of time. Note the lack of any obvious evidence of the Maloney volcano. However, 210 million years ago, the area was prone to volcanic eruptions in the Triassic period, when the Australian crustal plate was stretched by tectonic forces. The resulting rock caused by this activity are called the North Arm Volcanics which erupted mainly north of Lambourne, but also in the Glasshouse Mountains area just south of Mount Canaram, the site of the present major quarry. The Glasshouse Mountains consist of two types of rock, rhyolite and trachyte. Rhyolite, sometimes called commandite, is a very hard rock similar to granite. It is often rich in quartz and alkali feldspars, plus a silica content which in turn can result in a high content of glass if it cools rapidly. This has no relation to the name Glasshouse. Nagungun, Tibragargan and Canaran are primarily rhyolite. Trachyte, its correct name is alkali trachyte, is a very fine grain rock, similar to rhyolite but with less quartz. Mount Biwa is primarily trachyte. Magma intrusions as geological phenomena are not that unusual it is believed they are a continuing, albeit an intermittent occurrence, somewhere beneath or within the Earth's crust. What is unique in our region is the exposure of the solidified magma by erosion of the surrounding softer rock and sandstone, which in turn reveals a spectacular panorama such as the Glasshouse Mountains. The Glasshouse Mountains are a truly fascinating and beautiful part of the Sunshine Coast of Queensland which has resulted in us achieving National Heritage Listing in 2006, which will be discussed in a later talk.